in Eat to Extinct News. Ooh. Submitted by Heck Yeah. Yeah. Hungry Chinese people offered to eat Denmark's oyster problem to extinction. <laughs> oh, shit. There's an oyster problem? I want to go. thing as an oyster problem, but that is so fucking Chinese, dude. I love how the first thing out of your mouth is, I want to go. Yeah, I like oysters. I want to I wanna go help these Danish people. Yeah, so apparently Bro. they're having See, an unwanted invasion. Oh, I just saw your finger like right here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We have oyster farms out here because we want them so bad. Yeah, so does China. Why don't they just sell the fucking oysters. So that's a good question. I'm not sure. But yeah. <laughs> there uh, next article. Hey guys, I hope you liked that episode of Just Kidding News. If you did, but uh, okay, so this takes place in Ribe, Denmark. And it's a small da Danish town along the southwestern coastline of the Scandinavian islands. And they're, they just have this huge unwanted invasion of Pacific giant oysters oh, that um, they're saying that have been Invading since 2010, and they are ser seriously Slow threatening. Seven year invasion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do oysters invade? That's what I'm saying. They just like grow a year at a time. <laughs> like another inch. Like they're not even yeah. aggressive creatures. Maybe they act like parasites, or they take up the whatever. Like they they ruin the ecosystem that that environment has. Well, yeah, they're saying that they are threatening uh, the living conditions for a lot of animals and plants in that area, which is. Uh, one of their most important natural resources. What they, what they need to do is call the natural predator of the oyster in that area and tell them to step it the fuck up. <laughs> That's right. That's why they call it to the Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese is the natural predator. The natural predator. Whoa, dude, they have a lot though, bro. Oh, shit. Oh. That's a two month supply out in the 626. Do you guys like it cooked or raw? Both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had. These Chinese steamed oysters, with, they steam with black bean sauce and ginger. Ooh, oh I know what that is. I have it. I had it with the ginger, the scallion, and the soy sauce. That's good too. But there's one with the black bean sauce. I've Ugh. never had that. We should get oysters after this because oysters yeah. are the fucking shit. I'm down. And the way they steam it, there's like this little pop, and as soon as you break into it, it's hella juicy. Oh man, I don't like it when people overcook oysters, which is like, I just don't do that. Which is most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I just rather have it raw than you know if you're gonna yeah. overcook it, don't do it. The Tabasco, a little lime in there. <laughs> yeah, so the Danish embassy <laughs> in China posted an article on its Weibo account about this. And so they're saying that um, that after Chinese citizens read this article, what's the problem? They had like over five thousand comments saying like, "Send us over." Are you like, kidding me? Yeah. Solution. Yeah, yeah but then that's a exactly. different invasion they don't want though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're just gonna replace fucking uh, oysters with bags of shit and piss everywhere. So Gross. Let's not let's not do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna read some of these comments. So one of them says, "Denmark can invent." An eater visa for Chinese visitors no. offering unlimited eater visa? unlimited entry within 10 years for stays of up to a month each visit. The oysters will be extinct within five years. And another person commented, ha, five years, five months is enough. <laughs> and then a different True. Uh, you want the oysters to be extinct or just endangered? Let us know. Fucking pack them and sell them, dude. <laughs> or what if you pack them and you give it to like the third world countries where they don't even have food and now they have a food supply? They just eat oysters all the time. You know what I feel like? I feel like Chinese people are less picky than homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was thinking like in U.S. homeless. Yeah, Cause I was thinking of, of like just like the Americans that we're surrounded with, and I feel like if Tiff was homeless, and she has an A for five days, and someone gave her oysters, she'd be like, ugh, uh, uh. Well, maybe not oysters, cause I love. Maybe like oysters or something else that's weird, like duck feet or something. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd be like, ugh, duck feet. But Chinese people that are well-fed billionaires, they'd probably eat food off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken from a Chinese person. Throw that away? It's fucking pig feet, Ben. Come on! <laughs> Rolls away in his Bentley with a pig feet in his mouth and shit. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, man. So the Danish embassy in China said that they will forward all of these uh, creative solutions to the relevant people. Just put it in a box, ice it, and then ship it out. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, there was even a uh, Chinese company saying like, well, you know what, we can just import the oysters over here. They'll eat them like crazy. Even if they're poisonous, they'll eat it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are saying that they, the water in Denmark is really clean and they exactly. have a really clean environment. So most of the oysters should be safe Delicious. to eat. Delicious. 
But they're saying like, first consult with the locals before you eat any of them though, just to be safe. Yeah. Because they're called like an invasion, does that mean these oysters are originally from somewhere else or? Or is it an overpopulation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means like Bart said, the predators need to fucking step up their game. Just put some otters over there, they'll fuck that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy ass otters. <laughs> <laughs> Wake the you fuck up. I like when they eat on their stomachs. <laughs> Know. You know raccoons eat oysters and crabs and stuff too. What? They eat oh, everything, they eat dude. Everything, clean trash. Oh, yeah. what? I want a raccoon. They're really cute though. How do they eat the crabs? They have, uh, I think they have a thumbs, yeah, right? Have so they can just crack things open. They know how to wash things. Oh, they they, they wash everything before eat, they eat it. They eat like they, they're like always grabbing for shit. But I guess I'm thinking of like the the. The crazy claws and stuff. I don't know. I just look at a raccoon eating 24 7. Yeah. Because just like that, they don't even look at what they're grabbing. It reminds me of someone I know. You just have to, you had to. <laughs> you could have pretended, but you had to put them in your mouth. Well, because what's better than the actual example? <laughs> I'm down to go. I think Casey could take down half that population. Yeah. <laughs> by himself. For real. Dude, I fucking love seafood. I don't know, that's not a problem. Did you grow up with seafood? Why do you love it so much? Mm. Uh, I used to only eat seafood. Why? Were you allergic? Uh, I didn't like beef. I actually, I only started you just grew eating. up like that? Like, so, just not liking it? There's a few things I originally I didn't like beef. My mom used to make this dish called kom tang. Kom tang was a bone marrow soup that everybody fucking mm. loves. I hated it. What? Why? It tasted too much like beef. Oh. Didn't like it. Every fucking winter, my mom would make a fat pot of it. And my mom would say the same thing. You don't know how lucky you are. People pay a lot of money for this in Korea. I'm like, mom, I can't eat it. It makes me throw up. She goes, eat it or I'll kill you. I eat it, I yak on the table. Next year, <laughs> I'm eight years old. The reintroduction of beef too was done for me by having it cooked medium rare versus having it well done. I hated the stringiness. I hated the taste of well done beef. And the only time I liked beef was when I had it in um, hamburgers. You know, I relate to you a lot because when I was a kid eating like carne asada and stuff, it was always so stringy and my jaw would always get tired. I'm like, fuck, eating beef is so much work. Like, I don't mm. like it. And then not until I met you guys and you showed me the way to medium rare and I'm like, oh. I remember yeah. the first time you had it, you had diarrhea because your stomach wasn't used to yeah, it. Yeah, my stomach was cramping up like crazy. I'm like, I don't think my stomach's used to this raw beef. Mm. But I never looked back. I'm down to eat oysters, I like it, but after a while when I started thinking about it too much, the slimy, like raw, uh, the sliminess and just the mucusy uh, texture, yeah. I'm just like, oh, okay, I think I've had enough. You know what, if I didn't grow up eating oysters, I think I would hate them. Oh, you grew up eating them? I grew up eating them. My dad, he, he used to love like mariscos, like Mexican seafood, the way like Mexicans prepare it. And so every single week we would go eat seafood or he would make it at home, like he loved cooking a lot. So. I, I was used to it. He would teach me how to prepare it, which is like the, the lime, the salt. Like I put a shit ton of shit on it because that's what Mexicans do. We can't just eat things just the way it is. And so- <laughs> Even our fruit, dude, we have to add chili on that shit. To. I could live my whole life probably not eating beef or pork. I could just do seafood. I can't even do that. Mm, I need hard. to have beef every day. Every day? Yeah. If I, if I eat chicken for two meals and I didn't eat beef that day, I feel like a bitch. <laughs> What the fuck? I feel like a man. Yeah, it's like, where the fuck is the red meat at? <laughs> You're so wrong. Oh, what? <laughs> like, I, I miss beef. That's my honest opinion. When I haven't had it in a while. So, like, I can have probably a steak uh, once a week. And that's really about it. Because even when we went to Hawaii, I had the local moco. That's about it. And I had, like, the steak dish once, which it wasn't that much. But most of the time, I could just eat seafood. Pork would be a little bit harder for me. Because I love bacon. I fucking love carnitas. I love pork belly. I love all that shit. And they fucking flavors everything. And I love spam. So that would be hard. But you got scrimp, Chilean sea bass, salmon, trout, squid. Delicious. That stuff's like cookies to me though. Like I could eat like 20 of them. I think that's why I never get full. Oh, really? Yeah, if I, get, if I ate fish, I could just breathe fish. Mm. So I need at least like six fishes. You need that high fat cut, this fucking stick right in your stomach. Like a big fat ribeye? You feel cleaner though, because I feel like when I eat like a lot of You feel of like a clean meat. bitch. No, I no, I feel cleaner, right? It's like when I have a lot of meat, like a lot of red meat or like a lot of pork, like the next day I feel like so greasy and heavy, but like when I eat a lot of fish, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'm light, you know? That's true, but you know, I think growing up, I've been a little bit scarred with seafood just because of the type of fish my mom would cook. The and fucking red. turtles? No, I understand. No! No, leave oh, the turtles out of it! That's not even seafood, that's river food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of it! I didn't even know! I thought they were my pets! 
food I ended up eating. <laughs> Chinese people love river food, actually. Cat food. I'm agreeing with you because you're saying your mom. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not saying you. See, but that's oh, river yeah. food, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Had beaver, platypus. That shit was crazy good, dude. Hey guys, I hope you liked that episode of Just Kidding News. If you did, please press the like button to show us how much you love it. And for more videos, click right up here.